Let me show you how I created epic VFX shots like these in minutes using some AI tools and After Effects. Let's dive into it. Sometimes AI and After Effects don't play nice together, but when you get them working together nicely, the results are unreal. Let me show you. Now, before we dive too deep later, there are ways you could get good VFX solely within some of your favorite AI tools. For instance, if you wanted a shot like this, all you need is your source video clip and a composite still frame, which you can create in Photoshop yourself or have ChatGPT come up with one, which I'll go into more detail later. And in Runway's Gen 3 tool, upload the video clip, add your prompt, select styled first frame and upload your composite frame. Be sure the structure and shot composition matches up and hit generate. And that took about five minutes to create a shot like that and look at the results. But oftentimes people don't want a full AI shot, just parts of it like animated subjects or objects in the frame. So let me show you what it takes to create shots like this while still maintaining your scene that was originally shot. Okay, starting off, I have a clip here of a subject walking across the frame. I took a screenshot of the frame and I'll jump over to ChatGPT. I'm gonna add a screenshot of my file here and I'll add my prompt and I'll hit generate. And it's gonna generate two versions of this. I'll choose this one and bringing both my original screenshot and my generated output into Photoshop, I'll composite them together. First scaling up and repositioning my robot. Next, I'll use the select subject button and here it selects both my robot and my human subject. So I'll deselect my human and the extra foreground area here until my robot is only selected. Then choose select inverse and I'll hit delete. And my robot will be on a separate layer by itself now. And now we just need to tweak the color a little bit. With my robot layer selected, I'll go to filter, neural filters, and I'll enable the harmonization feature. I'll select my bottom layer and see right away, my image gets the similar color treatment as the main layer. Pretty cool. I can increase the strength and other controls here and hit okay when I'm all set. And after adding some foreground in front of my robot and some other minor color tweaks, I can export my image and move on to animation. All right, so now I'm in Runway ML using the new Gen 4 tool. So I have my image uploaded here. I'll add my prompt specifying that the shot needs to be static, but I want my robot to be moving around in the background as well. So I'm not sure how many credits this is gonna take me to get right, but we'll see. First output, not great. Robot is static and the shot is not locked down. So not off to a great start here, but I could tweak my prompt and see if that works. So a bunch of credits later, I finally got the shot close to what I wanted. Still not completely static, but I could fix that in After Effects. So let's move on to that. So now I have my video clip in After Effects and I'm gonna bring in my robot layer and I'm gonna overlay it onto my main clip. Now, since this isn't a static shot, I'll need to fix that so I could track it better later on. So I'll take my robot clip, I'll right click and I'll go to track and stabilize, warp stabilizer. And in my settings, I'll change smooth motion to no motion. This usually works best on footage with very minimal motion or camera movement. And my results look good, but I don't want my robot's head cut off. So I'll go down to my border settings and lower additional scale to about 90. I'll actually pre-render this clip out to flatten this out and just start from there. So I'll hide my original robot. I have my pre-rendered stabilized clip back in my comp and I'll go ahead and double click. And let's rotoscope our robot by clicking the Rotobrush tool. And with the green circle, I'll select my robot. And once that's rotoscoped, I'll preview it. That looks pretty good. So I'll go back to my main comp and now I need to track my camera movement. So with my main bottom clip selected, I'll right click and go to track and stabilize, track camera. And when that's done analyzing, I'll select a point here and I'll click create solid and camera. And I'll unhide my robot clip. I'll duplicate it. And on the duplicate layer, I'll enable 3D. And holding shift, I'll parent pick whip it to my track solid. And it's gonna jump around in 3D space a little bit, but I'll use my 2D version as a guide to get my 3D robot back to where I had it. And now I can hide the bottom 2D layer. I'll make some final finishing touches by duplicating my background and I'll add it to the top layer and masking out some of the foreground brush in front of my robot. 
I'll click the mask path keyframe, right click on the mask, select track mask and track forward here. Okay, it's tracking that, that looks good. And I'll add a feather to it. And finally, like before, but I'm gonna rotoscope my human subject this time so he appears in front of the robot when he crosses over that plane. And here's my final result, pretty amazing stuff. <laughs>